We're going to tackle a worn out brush roller on a Shark Navigator 586. Probably some other models. Uh, you won't find parts from a Shark, but we used parts for a 520 model. And uh, as you'll see, it'll work just fine. Some of the tools that we used here uh, are shown, but what you're really going to want is a small flat headed screwdriver and then a security type Torx screwdriver. I had a regular Torx screwdriver and some bits and then this assortment of Torx handles and I was able to get the job done. I would just recommend having those two tools before you start. It's going to make it a lot easier. To get these little wheels out you're going to want a flat blade screwdriver to just stick in behind there. I don't have one right at the moment. And just pop those out. It's going to take a fair bit of pressure, but that wheel and the axle will both come right out. Okay, in order to get the vacuum apart, or to get the roller out of there, we have these screws to take out. There's two here. One here, that one's pretty deep. One here, under here, where the little wheels are. There's also one small screw in between the two screws under the wheels. One in this corner here, and then one right down under here. Sorry, the lighting isn't very good, but one more screw under there. That will get our cover off. Okay, so we've got the screws out of the bottom, and then this is going to come off. This little two pin connector goes into the circuit board here. And when you pull this apart, this spring is probably going to come flying out, but you'll see that this tab goes into a slot here, and then this will lock in down there. You don't have to worry about that right now. We're down to the brush roller. And this is why everybody says that we can't replace this. It's all an assembly here. Um, but I had this apart once already. I put it back together just to show because this is the brush roller that we got. It was for a 520. We couldn't find anything for a 586. But the dimensions are perfect. Everything looks right. So... I was looking at this. These are the same shape. I wiggled this around, tried to get it, uh, tried to get it to come apart or come out, and finally noticed that if we wedge something in here, <clears throat> you can see my specialty tools here. We can wedge something in between the roller. We're wedging it in between the roller and the bearing here. And here's what we're doing. We're pulling this off of the bearing. So we're going to do that on this housing. And this is going to allow us to take this roller that's not supposed to come out of here, out of here. So there is our junk roller. Coming apart as we speak. These bearings are actually good. My personal shark. Those bearings went bad and ate the housing. But we're just going to use this. <clears throat> I set it right back in here. put our bearing housings in and we've already done something wrong we're going to get our belt in there too okay back together We'll uh, 
put it back together and we'll give it a try. Okay, we've got our side panels set in place here. We've got our wires stuck down where they're not going to catch on anything. Belt is on. The spring is in both of its places here. This wiring is out of the way. And we'll take this cover, plug it in to the circuit board right there. And we should be ready to screw it back together.